Hey everyone, so welcome back to another video in our channel and today we are going to discuss regarding another big update that is coming from TCS. So as I have mentioned in my previous video as TCS uh, already sending the results of their NQT results. So TCS started their 2024 batch hiring through TCS NQT in priority colleges and already one phase hiring is completed uh, the, with the assessments round and their interview rounds is going to happen in the coming week they already got their results and who are going to go for which uh, interview that is like who are going to be selected for digital who are going to be selected for prime interview these things and the next phases has assessment is going to happen soon so this video is for both of those and uh, this video is for all those candidates who are selected for digital and prime interviews okay so if you are selected for digital and prime interview rounds this video is must watch and make sure to prepare all of these things before going for the interview round if you want to get a digital or prime offer from tcs you are selected for digital or prime interview that does not ensure that you are going to get a prime or digital job okay you have to perform really well in the interviews as well otherwise they will demote you to tcs ninja and they will give you the offer for tcs ninja like that okay so what things you must know and what things you must prepare go before what things you must prepare before going for the interviews so let's see so before moving on if you are new to the channel make sure to click on the subscribe button join our telegram group on the description box link for any discussions also after subscription make sure to click on the bell icon because we provide different hiring drives onboarding interview updates everything regularly in our channel so make sure to not miss out on those so let's see the first things we need to prepare for digital and prime interviews specially we are going to discuss and then we are going to discuss the basic things that you need for our every interview so make sure to prepare the basics as well okay because if you are not even clear with your basics they are not even going to give you ninja okay but if you are good with basics but you do not have the knowledge of the advanced things they are going to give you at least ninja offer so first clear the basics uh, which i have mentioned in the latter phase starting from their introduction and then come to this uh, advanced skills for learning okay so first see what are the basic things you should have first prepare an introduction short introduction make it within like two to three lines in introduction you must you must say your course and with your specialization and at the end make sure to include your favorite uh, topics or your uh, strong points in the interview uh, in the introduction because uh, if you can direct the interview according to your strength then it will go easy and it will go well okay suppose you are saying that i have a good interest and i am interest uh, i am uh, interested towards java and sql so there is a good chance that they are going to ask you some questions from java and sql because you are mentioning it so you can try that next thing will be your preferred subjects so they might uh, ask you your preferred subjects or as I have mentioned, you can uh, introduce your preferred subjects in your introduction as well. So then they and make sure whatever subjects you are uh, saying in the preferred subjects or whatever topics you are saying in your preferred subjects, make sure to prepare those things very, very well. Okay, make sure to uh, clear the, all the basics understandings of those two uh, all of those subjects. Uh, because they might ask you questions from those and you have to answer at least uh, the answer uh, and you have to answer them correctly the next will be coding so there is a good chance they are going to give you to write a code or write a coding solutions and these coding solutions they might be uh, if the code is very small like fibonacci series or like something you can do with basic uh, for loop these things they might ask you to write the whole code and if they might ask some difficult codes like somewhere you need to implement with a lot of logics or a lot of data structures and all then they might just ask you to uh, tell them the logic or give them the pseudo codes okay both they can ask for codings but make sure there is almost 80 percent candidates who are going to get a coding questions at least in the interview next will be sql so sql is one of the major hearts of any interview any technical interview round sql and oops these two things so make sure to prepare sql very well and also but from sql uh, there is a good chance that they might ask you to write some queries from sql okay they might ask you to write a query they might say that this table this table this is the schema and you uh, i want to fetch these these rows so how will you fetch so i have a sql uh, crash course uh, there is uh, almost 11 to 12 videos in the playlist i'll give the link in the description so you can watch it in 2x if you already know sql if you don't know sql watch it in 1x 
it will take hardly two hours if you watch it uh, and it will clear all your basics of sql okay or if you know basics you can just keep the basic part and go to the advanced part for the uh, playlist as well but make sure to watch that uh, and before your interview because that will help you to solve or write any query they will ask they won't ask any other query outside of that okay next is oops so oops is also one of the most important topics that they ask questions from interview so you have to know the four pillars of oops abstraction friend functions overriding overloading these things also you should know okay and next will be exception handling so you should know how to handle exceptions what is a try throw uh, catch these things do and what is finalize these things do you have to know that and you have to have basic idea about the dbms uh, concepts and also like acid properties normalization these things have a basic idea you don't have to like demonstrate you them the whole thing just have the concepts clear next will be uh, some situation based questions they might give you okay so like situation based questions uh, will be part of hr type questions or managerial type questions because pcs interviews generally there are uh, at least two uh, person there or two two persons in the interview board there okay so there someone might be asking from the hr type questions as well okay for some uh, interviews they might have there might be only one person who is going to take the interview but for some cases there, there might be uh, more than one person who are going to take different different questions next uh, you can expect like a questions like why you want to join tcs or why uh, what do you know about tcs okay who is the current ceo these type of things you can just google and practice next at the and at the last make sure you are not writing anything in your resume which you don't have any clue about okay whatever you have uh, write, written in your resume make sure to have the basic idea about it and after all these things there is very uh, very uh, little questions they are going to ask from all these things okay for prime and digital interview i am saying there is very little number of questions they will ask okay so uh, your whole interviews 40 to 50 percent will be consist of these things and the majority portion will be consist of these things because you are going for the higher package role so the higher package role they are expecting good coding knowledge and good technical skills so make sure to have knowledge about at least one of these latest technologies that is going on currently in the market it might be ai ml it might be cyber security it might be cloud basics whatever you have knowledge about that will be a good advantage okay preferably they generally ask questions from clouds and all but if suppose they are asking you a question from cyber security or they are asking you a question from cloud you can say that i have i don't uh, have any knowledge regarding cloud i have done a course in ai ml if you have like if you have knowledge about ai ml and they are asking questions from cloud then you can say like that but at least have the knowledge and concepts clear from uh, at least one of these you can easily search in youtube or google wherever uh, like top interview questions and they give the topic name suppose you want to see the top interview questions of cloud basics just like that and watch top two three videos you will have the clip clear proper idea about the basics next will be your projects so the projects will going to play a very important role in this particular digital and prime interviews because projects they might ask you whatever projects you have listed in your resume or if you have not listed they are still going to ask you what projects you have made or what project you have made in your college final year okay and they will ask what role you have played in this project because these projects are generally group projects so what which part you have implemented which part you have done and uh, you might have they might ask you some uh, logical questions or they might ask you to explain some codes uh, from their project part which you have implemented or done so make sure to know which of your project which line of code or which function is doing what okay next is training so if you have mentioned any trainings in your uh, resume make sure to have knowledge about those if you have mentioned any certifications in your resume make sure to have knowledge about those and uh, even uh, like they might ask you questions from like basic uh, certifications like python or like uh, web development or like full stack development these things so this is not mandatory certifications and trainings but if you have those you will get an advantage okay and internships also if you have done any internship okay any random internships people write in their resume and they just uh, copy those codes in the internship and they just got the certificate and they don't have any clue what they have done in the internship so don't do that if you have written any internship in your resume make sure to uh, have the knowledge of the topic you have done in your internship and written in your resume okay these are the things intensive certification training projects and latest technology skills 
these are the things that are going to be the difference in the digital and prime interview okay that is going to uh, the major portion of the interview is going to be from these things so make sure to have a clear idea regarding this so if you have any query you can comment down